I'm Darren McGrady, the Royal Chef. I spent 11 years as private chef to the Queen, Princess Diana, Prince William, and Prince Harry at Buckingham Palace, Kensington Palace, and traveling around the world with the Royal Family wherever they went. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna be sharing with you some of the Royal Family's favorite dishes, some new recipes, new ideas to get you cooking in the kitchen too. And the first one I'm making is the Royal Tea Scones, the Queen's favorite scones. We start off with flour and sugar, baking powder, and butter. And all these ingredients go into the bowl and you just rub them together until you've got real fine breadcrumbs. Afternoon tea dates back to the 1900s when Anna, the seventh Duchess of Bedford, decided that she got those hunger pangs. She was feeling hungry between lunch and dinner. So she asked her maid to go down to the kitchen and ask if she would make some sandwiches and a few pastries so that she could just enjoy those in the afternoon before dinner. Pretty soon she started inviting friends over and they decided to have afternoon tea with their friends too. And it really took off. Once you have these beautiful fine breadcrumbs, then we'll add the egg and the milk. At this stage, it's important that you don't knead it too much. You just lightly bring all those ingredients together. It's not bread we're working with. And if you work on the theory that each push, each little turn will tighten that dough, it'll help you realize how little we need to move it around. Just keep adding the milk until the dough comes together. And it's really important that we don't knead it. Once the dough's come together, we can put it onto the table and a light dusting of flour. Just knead it just a little bit and turn it over so we get a real smooth surface. Then lightly roll this out. It needs to be about an inch thick. After that, we can cut it using our two inch cookie cutter. The queen would have plain scones one day and fruit scones the next, raisins, sultanas, and they alternated each day. But she'd always have afternoon tea wherever she was in the world. I remember being on the Royal Yacht Britannia. We flew out to Australia, joined Britannia, and it was like five o'clock in the morning, but to the Queen, it was five in the afternoon. It was time for tea. So my first job was making scones. The next stage is really important for me. It's putting the glaze on the top of the scones so they look really pretty when they're on the table. And for me, the secret is just to use egg yolk. It really does make a nice glaze when they come out of the oven. We need to set the oven at 350 degrees and the scones will bake for about 15 minutes or so, but keep an eye on them so they don't burn on the top. We want them nice and golden brown and they'll raise beautifully. When the scones are ready, they'll be golden brown on the top. Oh my goodness, they, they smell so good. We need to let them cool down before we put the jam and cream on them, but they're nice and firm on the outside, but inside they're going to be absolutely gorgeous and soft. A chef's treat was always to take the first one and then just open it up. Look how soft they are in there. A little butter on each one. Okay, it's more than a little. Sandwich that together. And before they went up for royal tea, there's always one for the chef. Oh, that's so good. It brings back so many memories of baking these in the kitchens at Buckingham Palace. Turn the cameras off. I want to eat all of them. <laughs> oh, they're so good. But the queen always has them with jam and clotted cream. Let me show you. And the best way to split a scone is not just to break it, it falls apart. Serrated knife, cut into it halfway, and then just lift it off and it comes away perfect. They smell so good. After that, it's jam. Now, I say jam and cream, but there's a huge debate going on as to, is it jam first? Is it cream first? 
Depending on which part of the world you live in, some say, yeah, you've got to put the cream first. And others say, no, 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 it's the jam first. The queen was always jam first. The jam went on, followed by that delicious clotted cream. So are you a jam first or a cream first? Leave a comment below and let me know. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so that you get to see all the new content as we release new videos. Let me know below what you want me to prepare, what you want me to cook, and I'll be preparing lots and lots of new dishes and recipes. See you soon.